man got me out here again, kind of liking my feelings. He talked to me bad behind the camera, y'all. But long story short, forget all that. I'm doing a compression test, man, on this 2010 uh, Chevy Tahoe LS Motor 5.3. Uh, you got the 799 heads. Y'all know the good ones, the ones that everybody really want. You know what I'm saying? But right now, we ain't getting no start, so. First thing we did, man, we checked the fuel pump. The fuel pump actually working pretty good. We checked all the fuses over here. The fuses working really good. We cleaned out the mass airflow sensor, and we sprayed gas in the intake to make sure, you know what I'm saying, it went to fuel pump to see if it's gonna start. So now we're doing a compression test. If you didn't know, you can go to AutoZone, for $43, you get your compression test. And on these LS motors, you're supposed to get around like 100 and uh, between, like 160 between Tina. You got that gun point? Tina. I'm yeah. listening. Yeah, man, I've been getting shot out in the side. But long story short, you're supposed to get like 160 PSI to like 190. You know what I'm saying? That's good compression for, you know. We're getting spark. We checked it. And we know we get spark because when I, when I tried to check the. When I check the. um. See, I, ain't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't focus with, with the gun on me like that. But like I say, you're supposed to get between 160 and 190 PSI. That's for good sparks. So we checked it and we almost caught a fire because it was actually shooting a little gas out of the cylinder when we were turning the motor over to see if it was getting spark. You know, you just put the spark plug, put the spark plug on the wire like that there. And then you just put it on here like this. Check them out like that. And then you're gonna see if you get spark while you're turning the motor over. But like I said, we was getting spark and we're getting fuel, we're getting good fuel pressure. So we're just doing a compression test. I already did the front. The front piston had 150 PSI. Second piston only had 125. And this third piston, we finna I need an like SSG now. mechanic to come work on my Pony XT8. I am the SSG No, mechanic. I need an SSG. I'm trying to put you on. Ain't no bullets in the other room. I am the SSG mechanic. I need me a SSG mechanic. You got your SSG mechanic. No, I don't. Control. You better not edit this Come out. Get in the truck real quick and spin it over. Come get the uh, gauge though real quick, baby. Trying to put on somebody. Tina, stop pointing that good at me for me. But we have a wall. Where you at, boy? Huh? Jump in the truck. Turn it over real quick. Look, the gauge right here. What am I supposed to do with it? Just show the gauge real quick while he turned the motor over. What I got you. Okay. <laughs> you trying to get the other one? Oh yeah, that one done for. Dang. Yeah, this one done for here. Yep. Do it again, Trev. That's a dead cylinder there. That's all. So that means you can't just switch out? I mean, we can switch it out, but that's you got to pull the whole motor out, take the bottom in. Well, you ain't got to take the bottom in out, but we got to pull them pistons out of there. That's what I was trying to see. We have to pass and all that extra. But see we, see, we can do that. Um, Since your motor's spinning over good. Where Tina go? She gonna run from the camera. Yeah, so long story with me so y'all can see what's going on. I'm really stressed out. Really don't want in the mood, but it is what it is, man. So yeah, it is what it is. So man, y'all just rock with me. Hopefully, we get this truck out tonight with no hassles. Y'all see it real, man. I'm eating on the apple. Got the Zoe outside. Seen her with me. Huh? Right now, we're gonna try to make it happen. Where is that? Yeah, gang, so they done told the truck, man. I ain't gonna lie, I'm really tired. Y'all see how I was working on my Kinfo truck earlier? And I come to find out, we did a compression test and there was a no compression on multiple cylinders. So she was sad to hear that her motor was uh, blown up. I was sad to deliver the message, but it's all good. We're gonna keep it pushing, man. That'll be most, some more content for y'all, man. I'm gonna uh, bust her motor down. 
see what's going on with it. See, it's spinning overnight, so I know the, the bottom bearings ain't bad. We just gotta do some work on the piston rings, and hopefully she ain't just blow a piston, because it was some greedy stuff that was actually blowing out the cylinder holes. But right now, man, they the toe popping back truck, man. I can't, man, bro, it's like, I can't win for losing, bro. They put a stick on the truck first, and they said that the truck was abandoned. And I had a lot of tools and stuff on the back, so I unloaded everything off the back of my truck. I loaded everything. I put everything in the backyard, garage, and stuff like that. And then I moved the truck to a whole nother spot. And it was all good. They let the truck sit there for two, three more days, bro, and they just took my truck. So I got home, and they took my truck, bro. So, like I said, I already went up here trying to get the truck. I, had, I got the money, that's not the problem. But they were saying I had to get insurance. So we got insurance, got the insurance, and oh man, it's just all kind of BS, bro. They really want to keep my truck. I ain't gonna let them keep my daddy truck. Y'all know that's a 2500 six stuff GMC OBS truck, so that's really a special truck. And then they got sentimental value too, so we can't just let the truck go, you know what I'm saying, the waste. But uh, yeah, we're gonna go up here. My grandma pulled up, but she gonna sign the truck out. She gonna check the truck out. And, uh, I'm saying we're gonna go from there, so you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. I'm gonna get a little footage up here at the tow yard. I know they probably don't want me recording, but nine times ten, if y'all in Houston, you already know about this tow yard right here on 45. These niggas grinding, bro. I remember back in the gap when I used to stay in the apartment, they done towed so many of my trucks, I already know the process. They so strict, they picky, you gotta have exact change and all this old kind of crap. But yeah, man, right now we just gonna make it happen. Gonna go from there, so y'all just stay tuned, man. I'm gonna pull up here shortly, and we're gonna be back home. Man, baby, in jail. To talk to. Can you see people on camera, though, right? Nah, I ain't trying to get nobody on camera. They know what it is, man. You want to be on camera, grandma? You on camera now? <laughs> well, yeah, man. It's up, man. Here you go. There's the price sheet. You know what I'm saying? Not a joke. Yeah. Get out, get out of this. Yes, so there's all of those stipulations and situations. Y'all boys get y'all caught too. I got snacks for y'all just in case. You can tell people been mad, gang. Yeah. <laughs> they were real mad. Oh, this got that real mad. It took a while way. for me to. Yeah, it took a while for me to re um just hold my composure, like take it easy. I used to be sick while up here. I have to. I have to. Like when they illegally try to buy something. Uh oh. They said they towed it because it was on in two parking spaces. Mm -hmm. Kind of full of crap with that. Thirteen. Titled, man. Titled, nigga, really, man. Go out there and get my purse. It was wrapped up in. Why you got that gay little thing on there? What are you talking about? What? That's gay. It is not. You gay pride. It is not. It is. Well, then you know you need to change, change it then. Look at that gay. That gay pride. You recording me? <laughs> you on candy cam? <laughs> Yeah, I gotta get paid for this. I gotta get all my little chips back. This something, something. Feel me? I do. Uh-huh. Y'all see what's going down. Boys, right here on the side of the freeway, man. All right, gang, we in. I'm gonna kind of hold the camera down a little low, incognito, because I don't want them to try to hold me and lock me in. But we're gonna cross our fingers that the truck battery not dead. <clears throat> Hell, hopefully we can find the truck. They got so many cars they done took back here, man. It don't make no sense, gang. We just on a mission, looking for the red GMC. I got a feeling they tucked the truck out way deep off in the back. I don't even know how they pulled it out. 
Hopefully they didn't damage my transmission or nothing. And I don't see it, y'all. Dang, man. I do not see my truck. It's dark. I didn't take a nigga box truck. I didn't take niggas RVs. And I do not see the truck, y'all. Oh, I see her. I laid eyes on it. Yes, sir. So they did pull it from the front because the way they dropped it off, you can tell. Yeah, I see the truck right there. So the way that they dropped it off, they dropped it from the front. I mean, from the, like they bagged it in like this. So y'all know they already pulled it the right way. We got to check it though, make sure they ain't take none of my tools. Cause I had this thing full of tools. I'm glad I took my other tools off of it. My impact wrenches and all that. Y'all see, I still got the GTO hood. All my tools still up there. This is the most important draw. Wait a minute. Yeah, the impacts in the yeah, them tools. And we got all our stuff here. And let's see if she gonna start up. Let's see if she gonna start up. Might have to give us some motivation under the hood. Yeah. We're gonna have to give us some motivation from under the hood. Dang, man. I need somewhere to park my truck, y'all. Now, y'all might say I'm ghetto, but look, I got a gallon of gas under here just to, just to give it that little ooga dooga to help it start. Now, when I do this, it might stay running, it might not. I might have to keep doing this gang a couple times just to get it out. If so, we're gonna reverse this bitch all the way out like that. So, y'all gotta rock with me. Hold on, Tina. Told y'all, gang, with the hood up, I can't see nothing, gang. The truck is gonna cut off. The truck is acting real funny. But I know I got a chain inside the Tahoe just in case. You know what I'm saying? I know if I put this truck in park. Okay, it's running. Yeah, y'all missed it, because Tina had called me. So, we got it going, y'all. Hopefully, we make it up out of here. I feel like once I put it in gear again, it's going to cut off. Y'all see how it just cut off just now, so. All right. So we're gonna have to give it more gas. Oh, shoot. And I close the gate on me, gang. Dang. Let me try to get it out the gate. <laughs> We at the gate. We at the gate. We gotta go to the gas station. Tina finna pull out behind me. Hopefully we run. This truck trying to cut off. No, no. This is why I ain't been driving this truck, y'all. I ain't wanna introduce the truck back to the channel like this, but this is what I've been going through. Yep, y'all see it just cut off. So I'm coasting. I might, I might end up pushing Tina or Tina might end up pushing me. So let me call her and see what Thanks, I can do. She's rolling pretty good, man, for an old truck. I ain't gonna lie, I should have been jumping back in my old truck, man. I don't know why I haven't been driving it, but she running good right now. Let me roll that window. Yeah, man, they wrong for doing your boy like they did, man. But yeah, so I guess we're gonna have to start the series back up on this show. This bit is running good. Dang. I ain't been driving this old OBS, man, 2506 little truck. But I ain't gonna bore y'all, man. I just went through a really, really stressful situation because I don't know why I let it get to me so bad. Oh, I was irritated. Shout out to my grandma, you know what I'm saying, for coming through in the clutch with the insurance. Cause they was trying to tax me for some insurance. It is what it is. 
But yeah, she's slowing down now. I came up on this hill. It's kind of like idling and rough now. So this one little thing I've been going through with the truck. Such a headachey night, man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all just with your boy Nine Trey. Appreciate y'all for watching this video, man. It's up, it's stuck. It's been a hell of a day. Diagnosing on cars and doing all that there, man. I got a couple more jobs lined up for tomorrow, so y'all stay tuned for tomorrow's video. We're gonna have a whole different energy level, a whole different look, you know what I'm saying? Part of the content. And until then, y'all stay tuned, man, for the SSG shootout. We're going against Funny Mike. It's up, it's stuck. Y'all know what time it is. Yiggity, yiggity, yow.